Welcome to Rustic Cottage Co. I'm Julie and I hope you like my Facebook page Rustic Cottage Co, my group Rustic Cottage Co and my YouTube channel Rustic Cottage Co. This video is to inspire you. Please give the thumbs up, like, tell your friends and pass the word on. That will help my business. I much appreciate the time you're taking to enjoy this video. Please keep watching and let me know what you think in the comments and thank you again for watching Rustic Cottage Co from Julie. Have a great day. Enjoy the movie. Hi, I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co and I we're doing a piece of furniture today. It's been a little while since I've done one. I don't do as much furniture in the winter time for the space. Uh, some of that I do outside and it's just cold and wet uh, but uh, I do a lot of Christmas small decor through the season but this piece of furniture I always try and do at least one for the season and you'll see why as it comes together I hope you like please subscribe comment uh, along the way if you can guess what I'm creating and let me know what you think at the end and tell all your friends thank you so I figured I would start on the stockings and I picked these up, four of them, from a thrift store and they have these ribbons on. So I'm going to first, I mean, they're just tied on, so I'll take that off as that's not my colouring. And I got them for 99 cents each and if I can find my scissors. I got four of them. Usually I get odd numbers, but there was only four. So I just picked up all four and figured I would work with that. And um, I, I'm not really someone that sews or I actually don't know how to sew whatsoever. The story generally quickly is my mom is an amazing sewer. She did that as her uh, career before she had children and she sewed everything for us. And we did join in, we did learn and everything else as a child, but I was more into the kitchen with my mum and more of the baking and the cooking and the sewing. I enjoyed sitting watching her sew, but I really didn't pick it up and I didn't do it in school either. So I really never did pick it up on that kind of thing. Um, so now I kind of regret it a little bit and I have bought myself a sewing machine. Well, actually, my husband gave me one last year for, for my birthday and I still haven't picked it up yet so I have to start learning that but this is going to be a no sew thing because the stockings are already made so let's uh, see what we're going to do with this now if you remember in the fall I picked up this long dress sweater and I put it on one of the pumpkins and um I have so much left over. I knew it would come in handy for something for Christmas. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. Let's bring you down. Okay, so on two of the, as I say, I've got four stockings. On two of the stockings, I'm going to do one pattern. And then on the other two, I'm going to do a different pattern. So the reason I did this to make it more interesting and also the idea I came up with, I kind of got excited with it. So there's two sleeves which gives two cuffs and I cut both of those off. So I will show you on this one what I'm thinking of doing. So I'm going to put, I'm going to use some glue for it and we'll do that in a little bit here, but I'm just going to show you what my idea is. I'm going to kind of put it along the top here and then just glue on the inside all the way around and then I'll cut off if I don't, you know, if there's some that I just don't need and I'll cut around the little hangy thing too and this is the general look. Let's put the hangy thing on the back. Let's do it this way. Hangy thing is my technical term for things that I just can't remember what the name of it is. But the little tag here is on the back. All right, so I'm going to be putting 
Can you see that? Yeah, that along the top there. But I thought it was kind of still a little plain. So on this actual sweater dress, there was a pattern down the middle of it. Can you see that, the pattern? Anyway, I there's a little bit of a ribbed part and I've cut that off from this one side and I will cut off the other one for the other side after. And what I ended up with is this kind of little ribbed. So what I'm gonna do is with some glue again, I'm going to just glue it on to the hem part of this. So it will look in the end. Let's see if I can just put it on here. I'll show you when I'm finished and when I'm glued and when I'm getting going on it. But I'm just kind of playing with this right now to see what I want to really do. So it's gonna look like that and uh, we'll get going on that one. And the second one, my idea is, is let's put the tag at the back here. Yeah. Now, I haven't cut it out yet, but I will do. The, again, the middle here, there's this pattern. And I thought of using two pieces of this pattern on this one, I'm just going to kind of glue it onto the side here and do it like this on two of them. So let's see what that comes out like. I think that'll look really nice. I'm wondering if to put something maybe here, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna have a look, see what it looks like and see if it needs anything there uh, in the end. And uh, let's get gluing, because I can't sew. Let's get gluing. <laughs> So when you're doing a sticking glue stick type thing instead of a no sew, try to, when you're cutting, always keep your seams on, um, cut above the seams, um, then it'll be less fraying. If you do have some areas that you can't do that with, then make sure you put the glue everywhere that it may fr fray and that will help the fraying. Now on this, I'm going to be uh, making sure that this is gonna be where it kind of joins the other side. And I want that to be just slightly on the back. So I'm going to be sticking it at the top here, along this top line. So I just want a little bit to go over so that it goes onto the back where my actual join will be. So I still have my old glue gun, but it's noisy, but still works. So let's bear with me on this. And first off, I do a bead of glue along the top, just to put it in place, get it straight, and also helps with it staying in place. Just right at the end of one glue stick and starting another. So then just push along nicely right on the line there, and then you're gonna turn it over. We are gonna be cutting some of this off um, as it is too long. So let's just measure what we need and cut some off. And I cut a little bit less and then I can always cut again. But if you cut too much, then there's not much you can do about it. So, all right, we're gonna do the same again along the top, do a bead of glue. and then just put it along where your line is nicely along, pushing down, and then figure out your end piece. We're gonna be having this one tuck over the top. So this top one, I'm just gonna cut some more off. As I say, if you keep cutting a little at a time, it's better than cutting a big chunk off and then realizing you don't have enough. So I'm gonna stick this first under part down. So just a bead of glue. And then I'm going to just put some glue onto this side and wrap it over. And then again, a little bit on this. So it wraps over nicely. 
Now, it is fabric, so wash your fingers and then just pull it over and hold it in place. Now we have some extra pieces here, but we're going to be tucking this inside like so. So we're just going to put a bead of glue along the inside and then push it over. Bead of glue and just go all the way around. And I like to do the back and the front first and then do the ends last and get them as nice and clean as you can get them. But you will have some kind of bunch up a little bit. So on the end here, I'm just going to put a lot of glue in here and just push it all down. Just make sure I've got ample glue in place and then just push it all, tucking it all in nicely. That's that side done. This side is a little bit kind of not as nice because you've got the tag, but that's okay. We're going to just tuck it in the middle, put some glue in the middle. And a lot of this now is just making sure it just doesn't fray. And you can always cut off any you don't need. And the tag is always at the back anyway. So there we have that part. Now we're also adding on, if you remember, this that we cut off. So I'm going to go along the top on the, the, the hem part here and stick it on. But I want to make sure it's overlapped a little on here so that then again, when we have the join, it's on the back. So I'm just going to run two lines of glue and then just push down right on the edge and then again just two lines of glue and I do the edges because that's again it's where you would get most of the fraying so that will help with that I'm going to flip it over now and do the back, going around the edge, make sure you've got a lot of glue along that edge part, and then do your two lines again. And a little bit more. push it down. When you're coming to the join, we want this piece to overlap, so we're going to be cutting this side off. And stick down the edge. And then this is going to overlap nicely. We're going to be putting lots of glue on and a little bit over the edge here, so it all sticks nicely and has a nice little join. And this one is finished. And let's see the others, shall we? So we have finished the stockings and this is the one I showed you as I was doing it. That one's finished. Here's the other one of the same design. And then we have these two that we did a slightly different design. So we have something a little different for this one. 
and as they don't look anything when they're just stockings like that let's actually display them and that's where if you remember i've been promising you week after week let's get that ladder painted and i finally did let's see what happens the blanket ladder is finished and decorated we go up closer in a little while we have our stockings put three of them on just because it's an odd number and left it at that and then blanket obviously i've hung here some christmas bells and then i got this mini wreath you could put it at the top here or even just put it here which is quite nice too wherever you'd like it to go dress it up dress it down and uh, so this one is a six foot blanket ladder look amazing next to the christmas tree or uh, if you want it next to your fireplace and especially if you don't have a fireplace then it is amazing instead of a fireplace what do you think i'm gonna see if i can step back yeah i can step back a little bit more but i can't get the whole thing in <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. This is Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. I hope you enjoyed my ladder. That would be great next to a Christmas tree or next to your fireplace in your cozy home. Hang your ladder, put some of your uh, stockings, your beautiful cozy winter blankets and any other decor that you just want to hang. If you don't want to put a wreath on the door, you can hang a wreath onto your Christmas ladder. I hope you've, I've inspired you and give you some ideas of how you could use a ladder, a blanket ladder in different ways at Christmas. Hope you enjoyed. Give me the thumbs up, comment and please subscribe to my channel. I have lots more to share with you and show you and I hope you actually join in and show me too what you're up to. Thanks, I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and uh, thumbs up. Thank you.